Okay, we're prepping our potatoes. We picked up Bye. a couple big old bags of russets. Russet. They, got they it. say that these are number ones, but I think they're lying now. This is a number one potato. Yeah, it's a big one. Nice big potatoes because we're making going to be making twice baked potatoes. Then they start. They get down to this small in the bag, and then to make it even worse. Yeah. They got these ones that are really small. So these ones, these really small potatoes, we're going to save and use them for pan fries. Yeah. These big potatoes, we're going to, you see them all right now, we're going to wash them. Then we're going to put them in the oven and bake them. And then after that, we'll pull them out and you'll see from there. Everybody knows how to bake a potato, right? Approximately 425 for an hour. So for this really big one like this, this will take a little bit more than an hour. This will take more than an hour. And remember, poke holes in your potatoes so it can vent. Don't poke holes all over the side because when it's twice baked, you don't want stuff just to leak out. Alrighty. huge that's a number one potato yep. one two three four five six seven.
So we're putting a pork in the potato. Piercing the potatoes Piercing. so that they don't explode. They don't blow. Air bags. Piercing the potatoes, put them in the oven, so we can make twice baked potatoes. I love it. It's a little wet, but put it as dry. Who got crazy on polishing some of these? Actually, that one is already filled. It was filled when I grab it. Before I even wash it, it was spilled. I don't know how this one ended up there anyway. It's so small. It's just going to end up being a one that gets hollowed out. I would have kept how I messed up. That should have just been saved for making a pan fry. That's green potato there, huh? Yeah, it's just not really we gotta, safe. We gotta cut that off. You said it's not safe green, for yeah. green potato. Green it's potato. Poisonous. Yeah. It's just kind of poisonous right there. So we'll just cut the end off and that'll work as it's piercing. It won't have to be pierced. It'll vent just fine. Got to remember to turn these potatoes over about halfway through their cooking time. So after about a half hour, we'll turn them over. Okay. Except for the super big ones, we'll be leaving those in longer. This guy looked like he took on some... Uh, that thing has a lot of blemishes on it. I don't know how the thing inside of it. I don't know. I think I'll do very, some trimming on that. There's a lot of. It looks like it has see? a lot of shovel damage. Yeah. Kind of sad buying two bags of potatoes, and this is all the the potatoes that we're really ending up with that make twice bakes. This is a stuffer. It's not even big enough to make a twice bake. Just pull it out and use the extra for st stuffing. And these bags were said to be number ones. The aluminum foil, right? Yeah. Put an aluminum foil on it. I put aluminum foil so we don't have to worry about all the drippage all over the bottom of the stove or the oven because we don't have a protector in. I think that the one that's open should be the one on the bottom. Because it's hard to clean this. Spit one. And, uh, put this one here. That way, if it drips. And there's another one here. So, there.
four, two, five, start. Four twenty-five. Set the timer on the oven for like half the time that the smaller potatoes are gonna take to cook. So and say and it preheat. Let's just say thirty-five minutes. Start because it's gonna take it about ten minutes. Five to, to ten to preheat. Uh, actually, yeah. For 425, it's 12 minutes. Yeah, all right, well. Just have us stay to preheat it for 425. Uh -huh. Well, I guess I, I won't have to get out here and run when the bell first starts to ring. Mm -hmm. I can take my time and let it annoy everybody. So, 35 minutes. So, the the smaller potatoes can have to be checked. This is uh, after pretty much 35 minutes, including preheating. 35. So we're rotating everything. Right. Halfway flip over. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to get those ones in the back. We'll use the tongue. No. We should have a tongue somewhere. Oh. Here. I don't need it right now. So another 35 minutes. Yeah, because they're all really, really hard right now. So. Okay. It's off. Let's see what's the progress. That was a little crispy. Oh. It's gotta be hot. Some of you, I'm thinking that maybe cooking at 325 for a little bit longer yeah. might be better so the potato skin's not so crispy. They're crispy? Yeah, you're hearing crack? Yeah, I can hear them. Trying to check for doneness. Kind of hard with this glove, so I'm just give a push. Yeah, some of them are like burnt, huh? A little bit. Yeah. yeah, I think 325 would be. And this could come longer would be better. The foil's probably. So what are you doing? I... Now I'm pulling. If I feel that it's soft. Yeah. I'm pulling them out so they can cool down some because I'll have to cut them. And hollow them out, and yeah. then mix everything. So that 
while you're pulling out of the foot one. Yes. That actually might all pretty much be done. Yeah, it's been an hour, right? It's been. Yeah, it's been an hour. It's been an hour and ten minutes, really. Thirty-five and thirty-five. Super little ones aren't, they're not even going to end up being stuffed. They're just going to be used for their stuffings. And then this foil, when everything's done cooking, yeah. I'm going to save this foil and I'll cut it into whatever works for... For individual for, Yeah. yeah. One more. One more. Oh, 30 minutes for one bit of there? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it has to be that long because he's really hard to sell. But, I mean, this one's definitely done. It's... Yeah, it's soft. So. It is what it is. That's hair. Did he cut it? Yeah. In the process. Oh, you're in the process of cutting it? No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. Don't talk to mom. We won't play. Boy. No rain. Mom, play Save the aluminum foil for wrapping. There's our mixing bowl for putting our potato in. Here's sour cream for mixing in the potato. Here's cheese whiz for mixing in instead of using like shredded uh, cheddar cheese. It's a lot easier just using it's cheese easier, whiz. Yes. Got a couple different size scooping fork or spoons got the knife for cutting the potato open yeah and then at some point i'll pull out the hand mixer for mixing the potatoes up yeah so we so right now we're just at this stage here let me just show you with a small one process is the same this potato is really small it odds are we're just going to end up using it just for the inners yeah but you put a slice in your potato you pop them open, kind of. And you scoop it. And you scoop. What are you gonna do next? And you try not to burn your hands on hot potatoes. How about music? music. And then on some of the potatoes, what you'll do is you don't want to scrape all the way to the skin because if you scrape all the way to the skin, then the potato will fall flat. This way, you leave just a little potato on the edge. See how it holds itself open? It makes it easier for when you when you stuff them back up. Then you just throw them off to the side and. Repeat the process. Repeat, repeat until you get all your taters done. Oh, this one. This one yeah, came out not too long. Oh, it's hot. As soon as it was a big one like that, you just cut it in half. You can just cut them in half.
There's probably a lot of potato for one meal for one person. Well, it depends on the company that you're having. When I was younger, we'd have potatoes bigger than this that were stuffed. Because we liked them and we could eat a lot. Also, like I said, you, some of these potatoes that are small, we're going to just use the potato for extra filling for the other one. And the, little, the skin that's left, your extra skins, you can take and put cheese in them and, and bacon and whatever, and you can make yourself potato skins. So yeah, you're not that. wasting anything. You should do that. I do it every time. Um, that would be another... Another recipe. I know, like it <laughs> so for right now, we don't have any bacon. It's been very expensive, so I haven't been buying it. So, you're gonna do this for the rest of the potatoes. All of the potato right there. Same process. These are the potato that is being scooped out. So. Got a lot of potatoes to go. Yeah, so we're not gonna pound the whole thing. Okay, that's how it is. You're gonna scoop it out and you save the skin for filling later on. You save that one for uh, filling. It's called a twice baker. You can restuff it and bake it again. So the point is, you scoop it out, then you put it here, you put the my, my, not mayonnaise, sour cream, you put this one, and cheese swiss. Some people use fresh cheddar cheese. Or cheddar, cheddar cheese, cheese, whatever it is. And go for the convenience of the cheese whiz. Makes them nice and creamy, and they taste great. Belveta, you can use Belveta, right? Belveta? Yeah. The, yeah, I think that's what people use all the time, most of the time. But this is what we use. And we save the jar because they are so convenient for a lot of things. Useful. It's playing outside. Yeah, this one's not for now. I could feel this potato splitting already. It's cutting in half. This happens to some of the potatoes. This thing's like flat. Don't think it's gonna restuff very well. I 
Let me get a good one to make it potato skin. This side will probably reef stuff. This a little bit bigger. But basically, you can see how I scooped out basically too much potato. Makes it hard for refilling because they're really doesn't want to hold together too well. Like this one. <laughs> I know. Well, it will still work. The oh. potato once you got cheese on it and they're very okay. So this is the one we have so far. And then we got right there more potato. That's one of the ones we had to cut the end off. No! <laughs> so this is the potato that was it's nice and soft, so it means that it's put that inside. this
all day. We're mixing it hey, with we're gonna, a blender, head blender right now. And just the uh, oh, pour, the, pour. the cheese and the potato. Try to mix the cheese in with the, the potato, or the cheese whiz with the potato. And I'm sure it's going to end up being a little dry at some. That's why I'm going to add the sour cream. I'm first going to try to mix it, try to mix everything up a little first. Yeah, this is just the cheese and potato. Rain, stay away from the rain. Go back to the chair, please. Hey, stop, please. It's hard as a walk. It's a hard as a walk. Is that the meat? Yes, that's for Thursday. Don't touch. <clears throat> oh, it's going to the blender. <clears throat> When you grow up, are you going to make fun of this? Yes, Mom. Huh? Yes, Mom. You know what you call this? What? Twice baked potato. What's twice baked potato? That's what it is, is going to be. Or you call it a lot of work. <laughs> when you or make a mashed potato or When something. you make this many at one time, it's a lot of work. Dad paste it. A little. There's so much in there, I can't really push the hand mixer down far enough. Mama! Have, hold on. To yeah. get the potato on the bottom. Yeah. You want this one? This is more longer spoon. Can I taste it, Dad? We're not sampling yet, baby. Add the sour cream. So hard like a walk. So hard like a Mama. Mommy. When I grow up, I gotta make some of these, Mama. Okay. Yes, you will. I with me. With me? Yeah, you said you will, so you will. I will. So you better be learning right now. Yeah, but I better be mommy. I have to watch it then. I'm going to stay here with every blend. Well, that's a big splat. Can I taste that? No, no rain. Out of the way. 
He's going to the... What is for that one? The band. Watching mixing, mom. Yeah. Oh, you Dad, you're making someone a mess. You're making a mess, Daddy. Don't splash on me. Dad, you're making a mess. Look at all those splats. <laughs> Mama. Yes, ma'am. Think that's making a mess. Yeah, it's. Going up there, probably to spoil some of it down. Don't fall on me. Come on, on me. So the amount of sour cream will be to taste, right? Mm. However you taste. Yeah, everything is to taste. Depends on how much you... I figured with two things of the cheese was it, it was going to be pretty good as far as cheese. Yeah, that was so good. Like half, half a thing of sour cream should be probably about the limit for the sour cream. Yeah, you want to taste the potato too. Yep. I want to taste the cheese and the potato. The moisture of the sour cream.
pretty heavy. Huh? They're very thick and heavy. <laughs> the potato? Yeah. They're so... So we need to add more? I don't know. I haven't tasted it. I tried to taste it. Okay. Let's just see how it tastes. Tastes yummy. I wish we had... Oh, Daddy, Daddy. Look at that big muscle. You, you can still taste the potato, which is good. Yeah. You don't want it to like the sour cream is... No, I don't want the sour cream though. Or the cheese, cheese even. It just... The goal is it will enhance the flavor, right? It's very yummy. Are you a he-man? Superwoman! Are you a he-man? You're a he-man? Not a she-man? You're a she-man! Yes, I am! She's a little Hercules! A Hercules! What a lucky mommy and daddy they are, huh? Mm. Daddy is a Hercules. No. A she, a Hercules. No, daddy is a Hercules. Well, no, daddy is not a her. Daddy is a he. Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> It's probably time to refill, uh, stop the potato skin. So we're stopping the potato now with a hollowed out skin and that's our daughter <laughs> the mad little princess excuse me okay well you see how it's it's hard when it's high it's a little mounded you have leftover potato skins because I'm mounting it a little higher. So you feel the the one that is a good shape. Yeah. Oh, that's very, very loud. Okay, can you rain, rain. can you stop doing that noise, please? Can you please no spurting like that? We're gonna have to make a bunch of pieces of foil. Yeah. We're wrapping these in foil because we're not having a dinner party tomorrow or a dinner party on Thanksgiving or anything where we'd be preheating these, you know, like really soon. So yeah. the best thing to do is we'll wrap them in foil and we'll put them in the freezer and we'll pull them out. As we need it. Yeah. As needed. Scoop and stuff. Push in with your spoon so you fill in the, the hollows. You don't want a hollow underneath.
Is it just like this? Yeah. Is it good? good? Okay. You want it to be a serving. Serving. What person? If it's a really small potato, then maybe you would mound it up a little bit. Yeah. So this is like a one serving for one person. Yeah. So you can serve it like this. Um, yeah. You can freeze it if you wrap it in aluminum foil. Wrap it in aluminum foil and freeze yeah. it. Then after you heat it and you unwrap it, when you go to serve it, you can sprinkle a little shredded cheese, cheese on top. Yeah, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, cheddar, yeah. whatever. Right here. And you can even take a slice of tomato or something or olives and make a little face. Oh, yeah? Whatever you want to do to get creative. This one here. This is like a whole skin, not a half. Dude, it's a small potato. So I see if I can fill this up. It's a whole potato and you can peel it that way. <laughs> um, it's pretty big. We'll see. There you are. There you are. What did I say? Not right now. Some of these are really big. Or this one, I can. If you want to cut it in half, try to cut it in half. Cut it in half. This one, it's like a whole potato again. Just stuff it in there, put it inside. There. This is a whole potato right here, filled. Flavored. No, we can play now. No, 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 no. Then, I'm gonna have to start wrapping some in foil because there's yeah. no. This space. is the last one, and then we're gonna start wrapping. Then we can. Then I can play with that. No rain. We have a lot of things to do. Uh -huh. Just need to wrap and film it. Okay, yeah, so. Wrapped with the wrap, gotta carry a bunch out to the garage and put them in the freezer. <laughs> Getting a bunch of foils ready for stuffing, for, for wrapping. So grab a grab a foil square, a rectangle. Set your tater in there. Throw your potato in the center of your foil. Fold your foil up around. Get your ends even. Fold it. Crease it. Fold them, crease it down again, fold it. You don't want to push tight because you don't want the potato to really stick. Then this, you just roll the end up a couple times, yeah. pinch it closed. Roll the end up a couple times, pinch it closed. You can always give them a little bend to feel about where the edge of the potato is. And that there right go. there is your baby ready for the going into the freezer. So when you pop it out, you know 
that the end with the folds goes up. And that's how you'll preheat it like this. Yeah. Okay. I ripped them, made them a little bigger. So put it at that. Just it. Like that? Yeah. Okay. So wrap it. See Two corners together. Fold it. Fold.
more here more there yeah we still have this one here and these are like aluminum foils so more aluminum foils that is free cut yeah So same process, just gonna wrap it after you stop it like this. So all of these are gonna be ready for the freezer. And so you just reheat whatever amount you need like for three people you have one two three and then you reheat it in the oven and it's ready to eat after reheating it from the freezer you're gonna you're gonna store this in the freezer and it's ready to be reheated when it's ready for you to eat it This one is going to be going to the, to the freezer and then you just grab how many people are eating so you have one package for one person and then if you pre-thaw the potato like they are now they're thawed they're about thawed. a half hour to reheat at 325 should preheat it where it's a hot potato or if you take them straight from the freezer and you throw them in an oven it's approximately an hour at 325. 325 but for would, one hour. I would check them after about 45 to 50 minutes. So Yeah. All ovens are different, so inspect and check until you know what your oven does. Yeah, the and, and then you preheat it here in the package, wrap. You cook it in the wrap package. Yes. And then once the timer goes up then you can open it up and start eating it all right so we have more of this that we have to wrap continue wrapping this one is ready for the freezer more to wrap just need to seal them up the rest of the way yeah so like we said earlier 325 to reheat it thawed 30 minutes 30 minutes thawed and frozen is 45 to 1 hour frozen and they are yummy Just un unwrap from, from around the, the the folds undo the folds and you can check to see if it's hot enough if it's not just give it a quick fold like that yeah. And throw it back in the oven. Let it heat up some more. Okay. So yeah. And that's why you call it twice baked. Because you bake it twice. The first one is putting the potato. And the second one is reheating it. I think that's why it's called a twice baked. Pretty much. That's why it's called twice baked. So you heat it twice. Put it twice. Well, they're called good. And remember, use russet potatoes. Russet potato. Don't use golden potatoes or any other potato. Those potatoes are good for soups or things like that. This, for baked potatoes, russet. Russet yes. potato. Yeah. It said... Number one. Number one in size, right? Yeah. It's a really big potatoes, most, most of it. Big. And then this is what we got from Costco or Walmart? Costco. Walmart sells them individually by the pound. Yeah, we got it from Costco Organic Russet Potatoes, produced in the USA, California, from Pali, Pali Oregon. Pali, Pal, Oregon means California, Oregon. Yeah. I mean, usually they're Idaho. 
Yeah. You can use also Idaho. As long as it's a russet potato. Yeah, russet oh, potato. Really grow it. They're fragile when they're frozen. It doesn't take much to break them. There you go. We're storing in the freezer. So this is more like a meal prep, <coughs> meal prep type of food where you put a lot and you freeze it and you have something to eat when you... But, uh, that's it. That's and then sure. close time. So we have four potatoes here that we're gonna reheat for a meal. There. Just reheat it. Is it three fifty? Huh? Three fifty or three twenty five? Either one works. Three twenty five works. Three fifty works. So reheating. Did I throw this one while we reheated? Huh? Did I throw this in the thing while it's reheating? Yeah. Yeah, I would just throw it down. I wouldn't put it on the top shelf. Put that, so. Yeah, I know. But still, I would keep it farther away from the flame on top and let it... I put it in the middle. Yeah. There. There. It's still reheating, but I've. Preheating. That will take usually for 3 to divide it will take 20 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes. So, and 30 minutes of reheating time. So, 40, 40 minutes then? Well, I wouldn't leave it in that long. Okay, timer it's 30. Thawed, so. Okay, 30 minutes. Well, the reheating time is... Preheating. Preheating time is 10 minutes. Yes. So I put it at 35? But it's when it, it being that it's in there, you got to count some of that time. Okay. You can't just not count that time. So 30 minutes. We put it, put it there. 30 to, 30 to 35 minutes what should be perfect. 30 minutes, we'll try that one. Okay, we'll check on this one. Okay, let's see that, it's that is from the b thing, I guess. It needs to be clean from doing the beater, beating of the thing. Four hot pockets. <laughs> okay, let's see what is. They're hot? Oh, yeah, they're hot. Yeah. Very hot. No. Gonna have to give them a couple seconds to set. Yeah. So if I don't burn myself. That's anymore, the meal. Yummy wake, potato meal. Go wake up the little miss. Okay. Oh, it's still very hot. I'm not gonna even open it. But yeah, that would be a meal. You open it and chow it.
Pencil. It's pretty heavy. Look, like anything I can't, um, opening I can do. There you go. Oh, look at that. There you don't want to, you need to scrape that off with a fork or something, don't waste. Yeah, you don't waste it. This is so yummy to waste. Zip and pull. There you go, another one. Yeah. Mommy. Yes. Hold on, Rain. Sometimes they feel pretty good. Yes. Okay. For the TV? Yeah, there's potato there. I don't want to. So you can use, you know, a spoon to, to eat or a fork. And since we wash this one here, the skin, you can also eat the skin if you want. Oh, definitely. That's why you, you wash it. A lot of vitamins in it. A lot of people loves to eat the skin of a potato, so you can eat it. That's why you wash it really good, see? So you don't eat all of that ground stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Oops. The other one. We got another one. Smoky. Mama. Okay, see the smoke. Mama. Look. Yeah, it's a little Mama. smoky right there. Look, Mama. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Go back to the Look, Mama. Right now. Look. Wait, I'm doing yes, the video, remember? Good. Your hand again. Look, Daddy. So which one is yours? That one or? I'm trying to decide between this one and that one. You're gonna have to lift the thing. Which one is heavier? Cause... Which one is heavier, okay. Dad? Okay, I'll take that one. Okay. Different yeah, ways of dressing gosh. up your potato, like mozzarella cheese, some shredded mozzarella on top. And that's a very good option. You can also put sweet uh, sour cream again. Yes, you can add sour cream, you can yeah. add butter. Yeah. Okay. You can add sour cream to it, or you can add guacamole. Guacamole. All depends on your flavoring taste buds and what you would okay. like. Uh, there's already a uh, cheese here, and yeah. there's also yeah. a sour cream, but you can add more sour cream on it, and... This one have mozzarella cheese on top, like this one here. Very yummy. There's a batter.